hey, I'm popping this in again like I did last video. Um, first of all, if y'all count how many times I say anyway, y'all are going to laugh because I think I say it every three words, but, um, and I almost said it again, but I did want to come on here and tell you before the video starts that I have put a couple of pictures at the end of the video and I'm not going to tell you why because it'll give away what I'm telling you. Um, that y'all may be interested in seeing. It has something to do with the visit to see Sarah. Um, and I think that's all. So, on to the video. Hey, everybody. It's Connie with Connie's Crafty Corner. Um, I hope everybody's having a great day. I'm ha I've had a pretty good day. Um, I've been a little bit of a procrastinator. I don't know if you, if I could call myself a procrastinator. Here's my problem. I'm just going to jump right into why I'm making a video so late in the day. It's like a 4.30 on a Wednesday. Um, first off, excuse my voice. I do have some allergies. Um, I got up Monday with all the intentions of filming. Got up Tuesday. All the intentions of filming. Same today. Plus, I was going to shorten these curtains. Like I got cut about 10 inches off of them. Um, but I, we're needing a new refrigerator. And when I say need, that stretch. And we don't need a new refrigerator but I finally convinced my husband that we need a new refrigerator. Um, I think it's funny, Carrie Penny mentioned in one of her videos not long ago that she was getting one because she had a side-by-side -side and she doesn't like a side-by-side -side because they just don't hold things. I don't think they're as roomy. Now, my daughter, you know, has had them before and didn't have any problems with them, but I'm a big cook. I love food. I love condiments. I love having... You know, I keep a pretty well-stocked refrigerator, even though it's just Jeff and I cook almost every day. I'm going to set this down. I'm going to keep playing with it. Give me a second. Um, anyway, I'm the kind of person, when I go to buy something, I research it to death. And I have researched refrigerators that I am cross-eyed. Now, I know you're thinking, why don't you just go to the store and look at them? Well, I have to find out what everybody thinks about them before I go buy one. Um, the funny thing is Lowe's has a sale today and it's the last day, which I know they'll probably start another one up tomorrow, but the refrigerator I'm kind of leaning toward is on a big time sale. The problem with my refrigerator, let me just tell you, it's about 23, 24 years. I think she got it right about the time she bought, built this house, which was in, well, she must've had, had it, Got it a little later because the house was built in 96. I think it's the 2000, 2000 or 2002, something like that. And it is a very, it's a small refrigerator. Um, and it's a side-by-side, -side, which is fine. But it's, it's got some issues. It's very, very loud. It's like freezes part of my food and, and you know, the others, the rest of it's fine. It's just got some issues. I refuse to use the ice maker or the water dispenser because I tried cleaning it. And as far up as I could go, it still didn't seem clean. I still was getting this black stuff, which I, I don't know what that is. I don't want to even think about what it is. Anyway, the refrigerator's clean. It's fine, but it's not heat cooling like it should. So anyway, if anybody's got any suggestions, please put them in the comments below because, you know, everything you read about a refrigerator there's always something bad. So, I want a French door refrigerator because I'm short and I like everything kind of eye level. You know, the freezers are horrible in a French door refrigerator. I know because I've had one before, but we have a separate freezer, which is fine. But, um, and I'm going to play with my hair a lot. I've got to get it cut. I have not had my hair cut since the week after my mom died because we've moved and I just hadn't went looking for a hairdresser. Um, but anyway, I've got a lot of things that's been going on since I talked to you guys last. And you know, I'm chatty, so I apologize. And I'll hurry up and get to what I'm going to show you. Um, we were supposed to go to my daughter's the week before Mother's Day. And then we were going to my son's the week after. Well, we made it to my daughter's, but not my son's. The reason we didn't go to my son's is my husband has something going on at work. And he had to go to work on Saturday just because they're getting ready for some things going on. I don't ask and don't know, but he had to go to work that Saturday. Um, and he does is not a fan of me going places like that by myself. It's about a five-hour drive, and I've never driven down there before um, because I've started to develop a little anxiety around driving. I know that's ridiculous to some of you, but um, I used to drive 
14 hours from Arkansas to North Carolina and not think nothing of, nothing of it, anything of it, whatever the correct word is. And I just don't like doing it anymore. I'm 57. You know, I, I don't know if y'all remember, but I kept calling myself 58 last year on my birthday. And I have not turned 58 yet. Is that not terrible? Um... I know I talk fast. I know I'm a jibber jabber. So just please have grace with me. I've got so much I want to say. Um, but anyway, we didn't make it to my son's house. It was very sad. Mother's Day was horrendous for me this year. And I'm sure y'all know why if you've watched my channel. You know, my mom passed away last year. Um, I'd been away from her for 15 years, except for that six months that she lived with me, except visiting on holidays and things like that. And then when the virus happened. Um, we didn't get together as much. It, it's just, it was just a whole thing. And I sit and just had a good cry. You know, it was just a sad day. So, but I got through it and I'm feeling much better. <clears throat> but um, we went to my daughter's the weekend before Mother's Day. And I've known about this for a while. I found this out in March when we went to see her the last time. But I am going to be a a grandma again, y'all. I'm so excited. And what was so exciting about this, the reason for the visit is we did the gender reveal and I was the one that knew the sex of the baby, nobody else. It's another sweet little boy. I don't know if I can let the name out. I know she's told some people, but she acts like she don't want to tell everybody. So I don't know. Um, and I got to respect her wishes. And dear Sarah, if you're watching this, you know what I mean. But the first thing that I made was actually a little birth announcement onesie for her. Um, the The reason I have this one is she doesn't have it. As I the eye that goes on continues did not. I lost it in the process of trying to do this shirt. If any of you have a Cricut and you do iron on vinyl, you know what I'm talking about. It's awful. Um, but anyway, I made this, and it says the adventure continues November 2024. You see the missing eye. Right there. I mean, the dot over the eye, y'all. That I'm a, I'm ridiculous. Nobody else would have ever noticed that probably, but I knew she was getting a, having a photo shoot with it, and I wanted to make sure it was perfect. So I made another one. It was a three pack of onesies. I made her two. One was what she requested, and then I thought this was cuter, so I made her this one too. But anyway, this was very exciting, and I cannot wait to have another grandson in my family. So that was the good part. Well, there's no bad part. I don't know why I said it that way. Also, I got some um, cards that I made for Carrie Penny's Spook Your Spring. Carrie, I know you told me what it was, and I hope I'm still saying that right. Spook Your Spring Make Along 2024, because I tagged it in the Instagram post I put up yesterday. Y'all, I have actually broke my Instagram dry spell. I posted the other project that I made, and I actually posted the card progress that I've been making did because I'm, I'm wanting to get back out and interact with people so bad. So I'm trying to make myself do things that I've just neglected to do. It's not like I'm trying to build a huge following on Instagram. I just like to share things with people. So, but anyway, here are the cards and I'm surprised I still don't have this on my hands because when I made the, I'll show you the cards in just a second. When I made these cards, I intended to use a lot of different products that I have because when I unpacked here, I have got so much that I've accumulated over the years. Most of it's from being in like card making clubs and things like that, that I've just not used. I've used just a little bit of it, but rarely, I make mean, very little of it I've used. So I decided I was going to use several things and I don't even have them here to show you. And I know most of you guys are not card makers, but it's a I'll tell you what they were. It was a, a mica spray and an embellishment mousse. And I think they're both by Nuvo, Nova. I don't, I don't really know how to say it, but anyway, I'll show you a couple of them because they're a little bit, all of them's just a, a little different because of the colors. I'll show you the three main differences. Let's see. This is the first. It's just got mostly a gray of the mica spray on it. And I cut this out. I actually cut a stencil out on my Cricut and I used it and sprayed the spray over it. And I put some glitter paper behind it. Um, and this is the inside. I put the embellishment mousse. I used it like a paint over the ghost. And that's just a stamp that I put in embossing 
um, whatever it's called. And look, I was getting that everywhere, y'all. It is just, it was a mess. But this is one that's mainly got a silver background. And this one has the green with some silver with it. And it's the same in the inside. Um, so, look, I didn't, <clears throat> I didn't cut this card front correctly. And the old Connie would have not used it. But I've decided I've got to get over that. I've got to quit trying to make everything perfect. Because nothing's ever perfect. And nobody will ever notice that. So, I got this one done. And it's the green. And then this one has more of the purple. That Most of them all have actually all three colors, but some of them just showed up better. And there's the purple. There's that inside of that one. So I've got 12. I actually made 12 because I am going to send them out this year. I have, I used to absolutely love making cards. And that's about the only craft I did for like two years. And I would send everybody birthday cards, everybody Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, everything. And it just all fell to pieces and I quit doing it. When I found yarn, I just quit doing anything else. Um, but here's the three different. I don't know if you guys can tell the different colors, but this was so much fun. I enjoyed this so much. It was messy. I had tried to fix a little area. I could spray that stuff. But it still would kind of sprinkle out everywhere. Um, so that's my first um, entry into the Spooker Spring make -along. I am making rowing a hat, I decided to knit one, and I'm, well, that's not, that's not true. I've either gonna knit or crochet. I have found a knit pattern. I'm still looking for a crochet. I know I could do the simple little rent rectangle and do the little thing on top, but I kinda wanna do something a little different than I did last year, so that's why I hadn't started yet. That, that's another lie I've told you. I don't know if I'm gonna call it a lie, but um, I've cast on a knit pattern, but I've, I've cast it on and I've made one row and that's all I've got done. So I'm hoping to get to sit and do that tonight and work on it some more. So hopefully I, I'll have it done in a couple of days. I can show it to you guys. But I've got this done. I got one more thing to show you and none of it's yarn related this week, you guys. Um, let me scroll over here to get it. Okay. I saw a sign like this, sort of like this on Amazon. And I, I wanted to get, because you know I'm fixing Rowan and the other baby up a little room. And, um, I thought, that is so cute. I want it, but I refused to pay whatever they were asking to pay because it wasn't exactly what I wanted. Um, so I thought I'd make my own. And I used, I got the, I, I guess I should show it to you guys. It's Little Man Cave. I think this is like 15, almost 16 inches. And I just put some chalk paint, just different colors to kind of make it kind of woody grain. But I did use the teal that kind of is in his room. And I ironed on the vinyl. And then I just put some wax over it to keep it. I don't know why I need to protect it. It's going to be hanging on the wall. But I've never used the wax stuff from chalk paint. And I thought I'd try it. So, but anyway, I love how this turned out. It's so cute. It's actually the second one I made because I, I stenciled. I thought, well, I'm going to stencil that and use some of this. Um, What's it called? Um modeling paste, something like that, to kind of give it some texture on the word man. And everything turned out perfect, except a big blob of the black got under here. And it just looked awful, y'all. I tried everything to fix it. I worked on that thing for a couple days, and I thought, I've got two of those rounds. I'm just going to make another one. It does not matter. I, I just thought that's ridiculous. But it did look bad. I tried everything, but nothing worked. So, but anyway... I've got this done. Y'all sound crazy, I know. Lord, my voice is terrible. So I'm so proud of that. I think it's so cute. Now I've just got to get it hung. I don't know where to hang it. I'm terrible about making decisions about where to hang things on the wall. So, but let me roll back over here. I was going to tell y'all, I've got these wheels on this chair. I've got them on all my chairs. Well, I've got two chairs in here. The one that I bought that's got the little thing in the little compartment that you sit on. It's that arrow chair, I think it is, that I absolutely love. But I use this one over here where my computer's at. Right there's my sewing area. If y'all saw my last video, you'll know what I'm talking about. And we've got these hardwood floors. We had carpet in here and in the dining room in the kitchen. And we put in hardwood in this area because that carpet needed to go. And I thought, well, I don't want to put one of those plastic mats on the floor, but 
you know, I have messed floors up with rolling chairs. So I thought, what can I do? So I get on Google. Y'all, I'm trying to roll. Get on Google and found these things called the roller blades. And it's basically a rubber. I'll put a link in the bottom if any of you guys are interested. They're rubber wheels that, that are like on roller blades. And they have, I've used them and sat at this desk for hours researching refrigerators. And I have not done any damage to the floor. And I'm not a small person either. And I roll all over the place. The only negative is, is they do roll. I mean, you will, you know, you get out of your chair and it'll kind of go rolling. But it's worth it to me because they, I absolutely love these things. Um, but I think that's all I've got to share with you guys today. I, I'm not going to apologize for my voice again. I've had tell, people tell me I say I'm sorry too much, but it is just getting worse. But um, I guess I'll let you guys go. And I hope to be back soon with a finished hat for Rowan. Um, and that's all. I guess that's it. Y'all, I'm so bad at ending videos. I'm going to go. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.